Hey there everybody, Embrix here with another LEGO video and we are starting to look at my custom LEGO stands and I'll talk about what this is uh, in a minute but for a second uh, I'd just like uh, to say um, well I said this in the description of my kind of construction team mock which probably a lot of you guys don't read the uh, descriptions but I found a much faster way to upload before it used to take me 10 minutes uh, I mean it used to take me overnight or even more just to upload a 10 minute video I know the internet was so bad back then but uh, we just got a faster way and um, I can upload 10 minutes in 10 minutes. Yeah, so like a minute per minute ratio or maybe a minute for two minutes, something something along uh, those lines. So obviously a lot faster. And I do make a lot of videos, okay? I make like six to seven a day. So yeah, that is a lot, like on uh, regular weekdays. The reason for that is because I'm about to move and you know, I have a lot to do. I have to review all the sets which I did. I have to review all my city which I did. I have to do a studio tour. I have to review all the uh, kind of minifigure stands. Uh, all before um, like in May. So I have three months left and that might seem like a lot because I could probably do it in a month or so. But I also have to pack everything and packing I'm going to tell you it's going to take a long time because I'm not just going to have to pack my Legos. I'm going to have to pack up all my other stuff. And I have to make video uh, logs to myself of exactly how to build back my Lego city, my mock city, my own creation. It's all custom, so obviously I don't have any uh, kind of instructions for that. And, you know, I have to put it in boxes. You know, I can't just carry it and drive back and forth from house to house. No, it's a long, long journey. So, you know, it's pretty very long by car so like 16 hours by car uh not by car 16 hours of uh, journey but um anyway so yeah that's why i just wanted to say that but uh right now let's just get into it this is what we are looking at it is my extra mini figures display yes all of these are per se extra now here's what i mean by per se um some of them are just straight up duplicates like the kai's though some of them are outdated for example i have a c3po maybe i can scoot back a bit actually there i have a now zoom in a bit this c3po it's the old c3po on my official minifigure display stand i use the newer one so outdated old or variant i don't want on my stand for example let's just try to get this uh, back on for um, example this I can do training Kai for my Lego and Jagger movie to, uh, stand for the ninjas I have Kai in regular attire from the Lego and Jagger city which I reviewed go check that out and I have ninja Kai I did the same with all the other ninjas but I don't have a can do training section that's why this is like it's not outdated nor is it a straight up duplicate though it's just not one I need for my figure display. But let's just look at all the duplicates I got just real quickly. Starting with the Star Wars figs. Um, a bunch of R2-D2s back there, outdated, and one new extra, and a BB-8 in the corner. Two C-3PO's, two Luke's, one outdated, one not, uh, one old, one Jedi Luke, uh, two Han Solo's, um, what is that, five, four Chewbacca's. We got old Ben and then two rubber head Yodas. Yeah, where the heads always used to fall off. I remember that problem and how much I hated it. Um, an Ewok. Yeah, an extra Ewok. That's pretty useful. Ray, Boba, Darth Sidious. And actually, this is the newer version. Though the older version from the Death Star from 2008, which I reviewed. Go check that out. Is actually more accurate in my opinion. Here his skin is yellow, though, from Darth Vader's transformation, which I also reviewed. But in the old version, it was gray, which is uh, more appropriate in my opinion. Uh, Battle damage Anakin Skywalker, two Darth Vader's old helmet, two Darth Moles, and then an old General Number One, uh, flashback Garmadon or disguised Garmadon, whatever you call it. Uh, the new General Number One, uh, someone from the lab from GIF Lab. Uh, two Sensei Wu's from Lego Ninjago movie. So yeah, that was Star Wars. Now here's the Ninjago movie extra figures as we cross into another section. So yeah, let's move on to Coco, uh, the extra sushi chef. Now ninjas. Surprisingly, I have least of Lloyd. So one Lloyd, two J's, one hair, one non. Two Coles, one hair, one non. Two Nia's, one hair, one non. Uh, four Zanes, th one hair, three non. And then I have the most Kai's six kai's two hair four non though this one is from like season eight spinner but that's it for this kind of base plate right here 
and that was handheld. Let's try to, oh yeah, the focus is terrible. There we go, that looks better. So uh, this is a different thing altogether. Let's just move these out of the way and I'll explain later. But um, yeah, I got uh, two extra Scooby-Doo's, Owen from Jurassic World, Gandalf, and I am getting another Gandalf, hopefully, if I get Tower of Ore things, I left a space for him. And then we cross into Harry Potter. Those were just like one per theme and probably a second yeah, enough. But now we cross over to Harry Potter, an extra Snape, Quidditch player right there, uh, Oliver Wood, um, three, four Harrys, one Quidditch, one, and three regular. One is like a second regular, though I have a second and third of his blue jacket regular. And then Hermione, Hermione, three Rons, all with the same uh, shirt, uh, just like Hermione. Yeah, I got the old, old Captain America from like, uh, what was it? The Avengers, yeah, the very first one. And I believe that's from Age of Ultron or later, I can't remember. Black Widow, Old Thor, uh, Falcon, uh, Rocket, and Teenage Groot. And what these little 4x4 plates are, are my non-extras, which I do want to put on a display stand, though I only have one per, per theme. Actually, this is a better example right here. For example, I only have one Minecraft figure, only one Speed Champions figure, only one Nexonet figure, and only one uh, kind of princess uh, minifigure. So I can't really make a full display, so I have them on these tiny plates. Why I had Bad Cop here was because I didn't get a chance to get any of the Lego Movie 2 sets, so I did get Bad Cop. So I do, once the Lego Movie 2, uh, once I get Lego Movie 2 sets for the Lego Movie 2, not one, then that's going to add. So he's on standby. And then here is a one of a kind figure, Hamley's, um, the Mr. Gold guy. And then these are two kind of exclusives. And then here are like the Lego, Lego brand things exclusives, like the exclusive factory guy, the exclusive store guy, and the exclusive people that came in the big. Uh, kind of buildable sir but uh yeah that is it for this video i hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye